Marco, in the book I decided to profile you because of several things. But number one, you've, re you've resurrected your family Soriano brand with motors, moving it to EV, electric, and you've made a huge push to that in Europe. What does that look like today? What is why? What's the drive behind you getting into something so? As some people might say, it's kind of speculative, right? Some people speculate on EV. Some people speculate on um, you know technology. Mm -hmm. You went head first. Um, right. Why? What is the what is the drive behind that? I think I think well, a lot of I, and I mentioned earlier, tradition goes into innovation, which becomes part of the legacy part. Soriano Motori used to be a pioneer, was a pioneer in manufacturing. Today it's called advanced manufacturing. We're using 3D printing, robotics, AI systems, new technologies that are being used in dashboard displays. So on that end, we're very advanced. We're the only OEM in Europe with electric vehicles of, as of now. Tesla did it in the United States. We're doing it in Italy for the rest of Europe and then hopefully it will become as big as Tesla has become, but the whole industry, right? It's just going there. So when you say speculative, when everybody else is doing it, I wouldn't even say that anymore. I would, I think in the time when you started, it was seen as being speculative. Today it's not, it's I will negative. retract that statement. And negative. back in the day, it was speculative. Today it's matured, right? We've all matured as time has gone on, yeah. but a lot of industries have matured. We've seen that with crypto, we've seen that with AI most recently. So, you know, when you're starting in the beginning of the vanguard of these things, really been able to take advantage of it and also there's been a lot of um, political pressure going your way too. Yeah, yeah. well, um, in, in, in to help us, right? Right. I mean, the pressure goes into the, the consumer of what is needed to be done by 2035, 2040. Everybody has different milestones for the industry. So all auto shows, all electrical auto shows today is all about that, mm -hmm. right? So the big question, I think, goes back to, so what do you do next? Yeah. How do we maintain, how do we maintain quality control? How do we maintain maintenance, parts, components, distribution? And, and that's sort of where we are participants of being active for spokespeople. You know, that's it. And I imagine with the supply chain disruption, disruption to the happens since the pandemic does not been easy to be. Well, it's, it's a question of relationships again with the suppliers and making the traditional suppliers believe in a new product and make them understand why they should be working in, in that particular sector as well. And that lowers your your cost essentially over time, not right away. To get an autographed copy of my book with Marco in it, go to investinglegacy.com forward slash book. That's investinglegacy.com forward slash book. That's the only way you're going to get an autographed copy for myself. Marco, thank you very much, Booby. I appreciate you, brother. All right. Thanks.